All right, motherfuckers. You always, yeah, you guys uh, email me the time that, you know, you miss my childhood stories and stuff like that. And, I, and so that I want to put them out there. And just sometimes people are like, what does this have to do with AMC? I'm like, whatever. Like, I guess you're new to this. Um, I'll tell you one now, but just because my brother was the one that popped this into my head. Um, I had a blast uh, laughing about it earlier today. So I'll share it with you. And it was actually my first encounter with a, um, I got to be careful with the words because, you know, how YouTube is. Let's just put it this way. A mentally challenged motherfucker. Like, uh, like that type of stuff. Okay. So anyway, me and my brother had to go to a doctor's appointment. Okay, when we were kids. And I think it was like, I don't know what the hell. We had to go to the doctor's appointment. I think it was something tied to school or something. And normally my mom is the kind of, like, moms back, you know, that's the way it is. Moms take the kids to the doctors and shit like that, you know. And dads work. You know, my father's like, think me, like, plus Mad Max from a different era. So, like, he's that type of human being. All right. So, he took us to the doctor, which is, you know. He's like old school type, human being, whatever. So we go to this doctor's office and we're there, me and my brother are there, you know, young kids, probably about, I think we we're like 10 years old, something like that. He's like 11 or 10, whatever. And, and my father's there. So when we're sitting down in the office, you know, my father glances over, there was this lady there with a son. And the son was like 14 or so, 15, he was a big kid. And he was one of those, uh, 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 whatever, you know, no big deal. I never had an experience with any of that stuff. So my father being respectful, he, you know, so moved the lady, you know, how you doing? You know, nice kind of stuff, whatever. And when we were waiting for the doctor, you know, me and my, me and my brother were just there, just, you know, whatever, just waiting, you know. You know how fucking kids are, just like, I hope these motherfuckers don't give me a needle or something like that. And the, and the, and the, and the, the big, uh, uh, that motherfucker, he started doing some shit that, like, I don't know, he's probably, like, related to Georgie in the future. If people don't know who Georgie is, you have to be part of the, the original crew to know that. Um, but anyway, we're there. And my father, like I said, he, he was, if you think I'm not politically correct, my father's beyond that. My father's Mad Max type shit. He's from a different era. Um, so anyway... He, yeah, that kind of motherfucker. Sweetheart of a guy, though. Um, so anyway, well, my father keeps glancing over at this big mongoloid. And, and the mom is like, no, no, he's fine. He's fine. Everything's fine. And my father's just like, okay, whatever. But he's making those, you know, uh, 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 sounds, that kind of shit. So my father's like, not feeling comfortable with this motherfucker. Especially with his two boys there, whatever. It's just no problem. All of a sudden, the fucking big mongoloid, he starts counting. Now, this is where this shit got scary, because this motherfucker started counting. But it was weird, because he would get it wrong and reset again. He would start counting to seven, and every time he would, he would miss six. And he would get frustrated at seven, like really angry, and then start going back down to one to see if he can like can, like find the numbers. So he's like, one, two, three, four. When he would get to five, he'd go, five, seven. By now, my fucking heart is leaving. I'm thinking he's counting to 10 and he's going to try to kill all of us. So my father's looking at this motherfucker at seven. He would get fucking crazy. And he would just start, he would go, one, two. He would start counting again. He would kept missing fucking six and he would get angry at, at seven. So at a certain point, you know, my father was like, yo. Is he okay? Like, you know, like for real, like, is he okay? And the mom said, no, 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 don't worry about you, fine. So anyway, kept counting. And then my father, when he started going, four, five, my father said, six. What the fuck was that? When he told this big fucking mongoloid six, he broke his brain and was like shattered. Like, oh my God, six. And he was like, huh? Uh, he he started talking about in the only kind of weird language. Uh, six. He started doing three, two, six. I was like, what the fuck? I thought he would, I thought he had a nuclear bomb in there. I thought he was gonna just blow the fuck up. And my father was like, yo, what the, what the fuck? I just told him the mom, number he's fucking missing. That's your son. Give him a six. 
And she said, you weren't supposed to tell him six. You weren't supposed to tell him. My father's like, I don't give a fuck. I told him six. How the fuck am I supposed to know? I don't got to tell him fucking six. He don't know how to fucking count to seven. No joke. My father, being who he is, he's like, yeah, and that, if that big motherfucker counts to eight and does something stupid, I'm going to put him down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking kill this motherfucker. Just look at him. This motherfucker had muscles. Like, no joke. So, and the mother's like rubbing him and shit. Like, it's okay. Six ain't going to hurt you. It's a bad number. Don't listen to the bad man. And my father's like, I'll fuck that motherfucker up. And I'm just like, yo, Pop just triggered the fucking mongoloid. Yeah, because he's going one, two. He started calling. He was start going back to the same numbers again. And I was like, when he got to four, five, I was like, Pop, don't, don't say six. No joke. When he got up to fucking five, my father said, six, motherfucker. I dare you to fucking act up. This motherfucker looked at my father like, I like know he, I know he faced his fucking arch nemesis right there. You know, it's funny because my father just told him, I'm a fucking motherfucker, get off the chair. I'm going to fucking kill this motherfucker. So anyway, so somehow or another, my father did some like Jedi mind shit at him. You know how fucking baby Yoda just like puts his paw out, whatever, that type of stuff. This retard calmed the fuck down. That wasn't until my father left the room because he had to fill out some forms and shit. I was like, don't go. Come back. <laughs> it was like, he's not this big fucking mongrel. He's by himself. And he started counting again. <laughs> One, two. I was like, ooh. By the time he got to three, four, my heart was fucking going like that. I was about to grab a pen and get ready to stab him in the fucking neck or something. Let me tell you something. I fucking tapped my brother. My brother. I was like, yo, let's get the fuck out of here because this motherfucker going to get crazy. Like, me and my brother were ready to fuck this motherfucker up. Like, me and my brother were like, listen, to this day, me and my brother together, like, we'll do we'll do life in a supermax. Like, me and him get together, we'll fight the devil. We don't give a fuck. It's, it's just that way. Like, he'll do 50,000 years for me in the same way. This, this big mongoloid, he was going to go down like that. So anyway, all of a sudden, he starts going... Toy, toy. I was like, yo, I was like, yo, what the fuck? Toy, toy, toy. I was like, yo, somebody give him a fucking toy. What the fuck? Who could take a toy from this motherfucker? Like, I was looking for a fucking toy to give him. Like, anything. A fucking Barbie, a fucking bicycle. Anything this motherfucker wanted. Like, he started going crazy. This motherfucking crazy. Anyway. So the whole thing was, at the end of the doctor called, you know, me and my brother to come in, you know, the, the, I was like, thank fucking God, give me, give me any fucking needle you want, I don't want to be with this motherfucker screaming, toy, toy, so anyway, talking to my fucking, my, my brother and then my father, and he's like, yeah, I, I remember that, because we try to draw a memory, like, yo, you remember this big motherfucker, he was going crazy, I said, no, nah, I don't remember, we told him the whole thing, he's like, oh, shit, that big motherfucker that didn't know how to count the fucking seven. We were fucking dying and laughing. It was just a whole fucking... We were fucking tears the way he was. He had one eye where he could watch you and another way he could watch somebody else. It was fucking crazy. And the muscles on him and shit like that. But anyway, the, the part about the toy, this is the funny thing that was happening. Like, like, my father saw him better than we did. And he's like, yeah, I remember that, that fucking Roy. That was his name, Roy. I said, no, it wasn't Roy. He wanted a... He wanted his toy. That's what it was. My father says, no, he had a belt buckle that said Roy on it. I was like, this motherfucker had a belt buckle that said Roy. He goes, yeah, it said fucking Roy. I was like, so he got up and started saying, like, toy I mean, instead of Roy. He couldn't count the fucking seven. He was, because he was missing six. Yo, this motherfucker had stupid brain damage. Anyway, I'm just going to tell you. After that, I never felt comfortable with those big mongoloids. Anyway, just the way that they are and stuff like that. But I still remember that my father took that fucking, that look that, you know, that, that crazy fucking look that my father went to him, I'll kill this motherfucker. I still remember he told the lady. He told the fucking lady right there, I'll, I'll kill that big motherfucker. He makes a move. I, I, that, I'll drop him. It was funny because, you know, it's weird because back in those days, like, you could see big mongoloids like that. Like, you know, they would, you know, they wouldn't be like now. Like, now they'd be fucking. You thought I saw one the other day. It was like a, a bodybuilder. It's like he was posing and shit. There was also another one who was taking karate and MMA. I'm like, you don't take those big monsters to lift weights and teach them karate and jujitsu. That's crazy. I went to a judo school one time when I was 17 years old. And they had one of them in a fucking uniform. He was training. I was like, 
Yo, I ain't, mm -mm, you don't do that with them. That's, yeah, that's the last, that's the last human being you want having those skills. But anyway, just wanted to share that story with you because it was a accidental, accidental nostalgia type thing for me. Um, let me tell you something. I think if I was to hear somebody tonight count to, count to seven, my fucking heart would just leave. But there's there's the. I hope that I hope that gave you because listen for me it's part of my childhood, so I, I still remember that. I still laugh because I asked my father like, "Yo, you will you have killed him?" I said, "Shit, I was getting ready to put that fucking that belt around his fucking neck." Totally different world. So people asking how you know you know. Why are you like that? Like, that's the man that raised me. <laughs> and Frank was his best friend, so you, you could understand. So there you go. Yeah, big fucking fingers too. They like let me tell you something. Like, I didn't even know how many fingers he had. I just saw I just saw like two or three of them from like the corner of my eye. You know when you're a kid and you're scared, you, you only want to look at half of it. <laughs> like you think you're safe only looking from the corner of your eye. Let me tell you something. If you ever see a motherfucker with a belt buckle that says Roy out there looking retarded, run for your life. Because if he starts counting a fucking seven, you're through. Oh. Fuck it. everything associated with that. Mwah. Good night, motherfuckers. I'll see you tomorrow morning.